this is Gülcan from Patika Dev and Ryzen. Uh, and here uh, we are together with Dom from uh, Definity uh, and ICP. Uh, so Dom, I have a lot of questions to you. Now you are in Istanbul. How is it going first of all? A um, little bit sleep deprived, but it's going very well. Enjoying myself. Uh, this event is fantastic. And uh, you know, more than anything, just happy to be here and supporting a nice behalf and this developer event. Yeah. Is this the first developer event, uh, like, you know, ICP focused developer events you have been in Turkey? It's actually my first time in Turkey. <laughs> yes, for whatever reasons, you know, I've traveled a lot, I've never, never made it to Turkey. I think mm. I'm maybe, you know, past due on a flight or something, but I never actually had a chance mm. to come into Istanbul. Okay, okay. And so, what do you think about this hacker stand that we are doing today? I think it's great, mm -hmm. you know. Um, like I think it's a very good format for you know getting people involved because it's interactive you know it's not just going somewhere to listen to a bunch of boring talks um, you go somewhere you roll your sleeves up and you build something you learn new skills um, there's prizes so there's an incentive as well to create something else fun of competition um, and creating things so I think it's great that's awesome. So um, we have seen ICP Hub uh, in Turkey like around three months ago. I think you launched in Turkey after several other countries. Just wondering why did you choose to open a hub in Turkey? Well, um, you know, first, first of all, um, you know, internet computer is pretty complicated and Definity, uh, you know, was really a very R&D focused organization. And at some point we realized that, you know, there needed to be a, a better way of like bringing the technology to the world. Um, and there's obviously a lot of parties in the ecosystem. You have uh, people running internet computer nodes, you have developer groups building different services and so on. Um, but we, we realized that all of these like, you know, um, communities, crypto communities all over the world, people interested in, in crypto, and all of them have, um, you know, local characteristics. And anyways, the role of Definity is really just developing internet computer technology, that's what we're focused on. So there's this idea like, you know, uh, that growth should be fully decentralized, and uh, you know that the internet computer community over time will grow better that way and with this sort of paradigm of you know um, build build local build locally scale globally and and uh, the mechanism through which that's being pursued at the ICP hubs. And these run you know as largely independent organizations. Uh, they're able to utilize local knowledge and local connections. Um, there are now programs that integrate hubs with accelerator programs again locally that can um, you know, provide funding and incubation and support to, to the developers building things. And, and it's been very successful. So, um, you know, I was at a Dubai hub recently. I think soon I'm going to go and uh, attend some of the early, you know, in India hub meetups and hackathons. Uh, and some of these things are scaling pretty quick. I mean, uh, I, uh, there was a IC, the ICB hub in South Korea recently had a meetup, had about 800, 800 people coming through. Um, Dubai, I think, had 240 there. Um, India's shaping up to be an absolute monster. I think there's uh, more than 10,000 people in India right now in uh, ICP hackathons. So, uh, you know, I think there are 20 hubs, different sizes at different stages around the world now. Uh, I, I think we're, we're expecting there to be about 40 hubs by July 2024. Um, I, I think the um, Tur Turkey shares many of the characteristics that will make it a very important hub. And you know, these include like fast kind of growing economy, people are looking for new ways to make money and new, new kind of careers. A um, lot of young people, um, and by all estimates, there's a lot of developers in Turkey 
uh, a lot of Web 2 developers looking to get, get into Web 3, and a lot of Web 3 developers, um, you know, trying out different blockchains, and seeing where they can build stuff and what they can build and things like that. So, uh, you know, for that reason, you know, Turkey's already got a well-established crypto blockchain community, and, and, and I think ICP hub here in Turkey is going to be huge, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it's great to hear that uh, you see the potential here and you are ready to be um, you know, present here and continue to invest in the country. Just wondering, what is your perspective on this? Turkey is always in the top 10, five countries in terms of crypto adoption, uh, which is a kind of consumption. While ICP Hub Turkey seems to be trying to help people build new stuff, not just consume this technology. So what is the, you know, what would you like to see out of ICP Hub Turkey? Let's say next year, these times, what would you like to see for it to be like kind of successful for you? That's a good question. I mean, Internet Computer Project generally is more focused on what you can build than tokens. Um, and, you know, we have this vision of a kind of blockchain singularity where in the end, you know, nearly all of our important information systems, whether that's enterprise systems, or social media, or games, or whatever, will be built fully on blockchain. And they'll be tamper-proof, they won't need firewalls, they'll be unstoppable. And in the case of Web3, of course, you can really transfer ownership of these uh, you know, services to, to users, because you can put them under the control of community DAOs. And have these community DAOs have full control, and that acts a bit like GitHub does for code repos. Mm -hmm. um, organize uh, the, the, you know, the updating of the smart contract code through a democratic process without any back doors. Um, and you know you can build these services where the users become part of the team. You know users are getting rewarded, say on a social media crypto so social media site for creating viral content. Um, for helping with content moderation. Uh, and the tokenization is totally seamless. There are no wallets. Um, it's pervasive, seamless, and, and, and provides a richer experience. And in the sense, you know, in the same way that a Bitcoin's on a blockchain, and you can own that, and you can have a social network on a blockchain, uh, entirely on a blockchain, and, and distribute ownership via a DAO and control via a DAO, uh, and, and have, you know, thousands or millions of people collaboratively uh, updating and governing their service. And I think that for us is the future of Web3. There are also very important enterprise opportunities because when you build on the internet computer, you build with canister small contracts, you don't need firewalls, um, the platform's unstoppable, and there are lots of enterprises today that are very concerned with building systems that are resilient and can't be hacked, uh, can't be encrypted with ransomware. And actually, uh, you know, you can build, you can reduce your build costs you can reduce the cost of building uh, enterprise and government systems using smart contracts because uh, they simplify the logic enormously because you don't have to worry about all these failover cases, different components like databases and web servers. You don't need that anymore. You can build everything just with smart contracts. It's, sort of, it's like a sort of stateful serverless cloud environment where the code is tamper-proof and unstoppable. Um, and everyone already agrees, even today in the enterprise space, even people who don't know anything about Web3 agree that serverless cloud is the future. We're in a slow migration there. Um, Internet computer is, is, you know, serverless cloud 3.0. It's a beautiful, super advanced serverless cloud, which um, is unstoppable, tamper-proof, and also holds the data. So if you look at Amazon Web Services, serverless cloud you know you've got the code in serverless but it has to call out to get the data from databases uh, smart contracts obviously store their own data um, it, on the internet computer data sticks to code so i think you know for turkish developers um, gaining learning internet computer skills they'll be able to go two ways you know one one is the web free direction you can eat you know, work, create or work on a Web3 project, um, which is probably, uh, you know, creating a richer internet experience through tokenization, uh, token economies, um, and decentralizing controls of DAOs, and making the users of the service into the team, you know, who are getting rewarded for creating 
viral content, helping content moderation, and things like that. And that's that's the Web3 part. And there'll also be an enterprise part, um, which is great because it means that you know, the skills that you learn on the internet computer are going to have lots and lots of different um, applications. Actually, that's interesting you are saying that because as ICP Hub Turkey, we have been focused mostly at the Web3 side of things. But at the same time, there is a big relationship that we are having with a lot of enterprise companies here. Actually, two large enterprise companies, one is one of the biggest companies, uh, biggest banks, financial institutions in Turkey. And the other one is one of the largest um, energy companies in the country. They opened Web3 boot camps to bring in talent into their pipeline and to ask new generation like what can we actually build within our company using this blockchain technology and I remember like they ended up giving prizes to seven different teams instead of five different teams because they loved the you know ideas coming through yeah. that so it looks like enterprise companies also need this kind of thing and they want to support talent in the country to build um, to, to to bring them knowledge about blockchain so i'm i'm happy to, to hear this focus from you because there is a lot of work and there's demand also from those companies as well yeah and i think the, the so not only are enterprises kind of looking uh, to see what kind of Web3 features and ideas they can leverage within their systems. Um, actually, in the long run, we believe enterprises will migrate all their systems onto blockchain. And, you know, that's possible on the internet computer because, you know, a single canister smart contract has up to 96 gigabytes of memory um, available to it. Uh, there's just one small contract. You can have as many small contracts as you like. So um, there's actually a new spin out called Utopia. Um, Utopia Cloud Networks. And it, it, it's going to be creating an enterprise software that, that's based on ICP technology um, that enable enterprises to spin up private serverless clouds. And the technology behind it is just internet computer subnet technology. But the advantage for the enterprise is uh, they don't have to make that step to a, jump to a public network in one go. They can run the nodes themselves. And the nodes can even be on cloud. If they want, they can spin up what's called Utopia. It stands for Unstoppable, Tamper-Proof, Open Platform for Independent Autonomy. And an enterprise can spin up these Utopia clouds, which are like internet computer summits, but they run the nodes themselves. Um, the nodes could be dedicated hardware, or they could be... Uh, you know, the node, the node software can be running on uh, cloud services. Um, it doesn't matter because it's the, end, you know, the enterprise is running it. They don't have to trust anybody. They're trusting themselves. Um, and they can decentralize control of the nodes inside the organization. But the advantage for them is that now they can build systems that are tamper-proof, that don't need firewalls, they're unstoppable. Um, they can even move the... Um, Utopia cloud, like if they find one cloud that, that it's relying on is too expensive, they can move to another cloud and it doesn't interrupt the Utopia at all, it just continues running. And these these Utopias will be, it will be possible to integrate these Utopias with the internet and get it out. Um, so there's going to be a stepping stone for um, uh, enterprises that want to use this technology but aren't quite ready to build on a public network. So there's going to be a continuum from Web3 through to the intersection of Web3 and Enterprise, through to pure enterprise where they're not ready to, they want to run on private networks, or private platforms. Um, and it's through these kinds of sort of, uh, this broadening of the kind of opportunity that, you know, eventually we'll see this like blockchain singularity where everything ends up running on chain. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, this is encouraging and I hope that you would come to Turkey again. I'm sure. And now this time, maybe next year, maybe in a few months, we would see more enterprise companies here as well. Like, you yeah. know, just people, uh, you know, coming from their full time jobs, like trying to meet with ICP uh, to talk with you guys about what they can build. Plus new Web3 native projects out of this country. Yeah. Uh, I hope it will be successful and we would see you more often in Istanbul. I hope so. Thank you. And so look, uh, you done this? Like this? Oh yeah, okay. You see it? All right. <laughs> this was created here in Turkey by a guy called Sam. Oh, he really? He did, yeah. It's the, okay. <laughs> it's the internet computer inside of things. Yeah.
Cool. Thank you.